Yo, what is going on my people? How you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Ed talks about, I'm Ed. Yes, so I found out some information about THCA. So, the other day, a couple of days ago, I got messaged by someone on Instagram. Nice bloke. Um, he weren't being rude to me. He was just saying, you're not incorrect in what you were saying about the testing and the pulling and everything. He went, but that's a little bit outdated. And I'm like, what do you mean it's a little bit outdated? He went, well, what they do is, back in the mid-2021, they were pulling their crops early because of the, they was getting it tested and then pulling it early because they were a bit worried about the law and the loophole and everything. He goes, but if you look, the time frame you have from testing your bud to harvesting it is 30 days. Look, show you right here. If I can remember, I'll put something up floating here. <laughs> so at the beginning, they was a bit nervous. They was like, yeah, we'll test it and then we'll, we'll pull it like a week or so later. Like I was saying in my old video, a little bit outdated, I hold my hands up, but the research that I was doing, that's what it was coming up. But this guy was telling me, actually what they've done is they're pushing it, pushing it even more now. So they're getting it tested 30 days before harvest or at like week four, yeah? And then they're letting it grow for another four weeks, basically to the end of the harvest, the, the time frame. So it's exactly the same as normal weed. It's just tested 30 days before harvest. When I said to you they was pulling it early, yeah, they do pull it early, but, but that was back then when they first found this little loop. If you look at the THCA flower from 2021, just Google a picture of it. I don't want to put it up on the screen because it would get age restricted. But if you just Google a picture of the TACA flower from back then to the TACA flower from to now, you can see that they was pulling it early. You can actually see it in the bud. It doesn't look as formed. It looks a little bit airy. You know, it wasn't, and people was consuming it saying, well, it just tastes like early bud. Like, it doesn't taste great. It's, it's okay. That's what everyone says, it's okay, it's it get you out of a pickle. But it, it was nowhere near as with the quality now is because they're pushing their boundaries all the way to like the day 30. Do you know what I mean? They've got a strain that they know that finishes in eight weeks or just under eight weeks, because they are out there. And they know that they can send out fully grown, proper bud because it was tested weeks ago. And it only come up with the under 0.3% THC but THCA is still there. It's just not converted into THC yet. So by the time they harvest it, yeah, you've got THCA and THC, both there in like you would go to your dispo or your cannabis calf or wherever you get it, it's the same. So you get the same, it's just tested earlier. So that just shows you how mind boggling the law is because the law says that you're allowed to have that, but you've got, you can test it 30 days before, but they obviously don't know how a plant grows. They obviously don't know that after week four, the plant starts maturing and changing. Well, also people selling THCA, you've got to be careful. I mean, selling it in a vape pod, right? Or selling it in a pre-roll is basically conspiring to letting the person break the law because this conspiracy is a couple of people knowing what they're doing yeah do you know like in the legal terms is i'm not a lawyer but i just know some little bits so yeah you've got to be careful because if you're selling the product as taca that's fine but if that person then consumes it and lights it or vapes it it turns into thc so if you're the person selling it knowing it's in a device that's going to get used to convert it that's a little bit of a greyer. I'd be watching it if I was them TACA suppliers. I would literally only be doing flour, no vapes, none of that. Like literally just flour in a bag is ornamental value then. Do you know what I'm saying? It's not, you're not selling it to be consumed or lit or vaped. Like, you know, I'd be careful if I was one of them people because, uh, I mean, hopefully nothing happens. But I mean, like Dopa Ziola, one of the biggest ones out there, I'd it'd be gutting if something happened to him like legally, do you know what I mean? He's a lovely guy, like, you know? So that was my little bit of information. It's harvested 30 days after they test it. So, I mean, it's just weird. And if you like the video, guys, let me just say, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel 
and yeah get or do all that youtube stuff i really do appreciate it man and if no one said it to you today i'm gonna say it to you all right i love you and i hope you have a blessed day and yes i'm in my snooty thing because it's freezing here it is absolutely cold man so yes anyway people peace out see you on the next one love you